Hi, my name is Jacob Dudman. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Danny Griffin. Hi, I'm Kim. Hi, I'm Hannah van der Vesthazen and I'm here with Sound of Series. Uh, Alicia is probably the most likely to make me laugh on set um, because she's very funny and sometimes decides to be clumsy as well. So she will fall about a lot. But also, we spend most of time, most of our time together on set. So it would probably be her. Yeah, that's definitely Debbie. Rob, I think. Super Silver. Uh, Elliot Salt, definitely. I think everyone's pretty good at remembering their lines, to be honest. Um, I'm going to say me, because I have forgotten lines sometimes. But I mean, you know, I, I think I'm just throwing myself in the fire there, because I don't want to be mean to any of my castmates. Oh, he's not going to like me for this. Um, Danny, probably. Uh, Danny has a lot of lines, so that that's probably why. But um, yeah, I think he's he's known for uh, forgetting his lines sometimes. But he's so brilliant when he delivers them that uh, it sort of makes it worth it. I'm going to say Alicia purely because she was meant to call me a princess in one scene and she kept calling me a drama queen, which is not incorrect. <laughs> Didn't really happen, to be honest. Um, I think everyone is scared when Andreas is on set, so they are spot on. Oh, probably me, uh, <laughs> maybe. Um, no, I don't know. Do you know what? Precious had a camera a lot on set. Um, she was always going around photographing everyone, so probably I'd have to say Precious. They wouldn't be selfies though, she's got a really cool camera that she goes and takes pictures of. So hopefully we'll see those on Instagram sometime. I think Abby, Abby likes a, likes a selfie. Actually, Paulina, who plays Flora in the second series, she's really good at taking photos. I think that's the girls in general. They've been picturing a lot, but not only selfies, but taking pictures from everyone. Uh, from everyone. Literally everyone. <laughs> Definitely precious, um, because she's the queen of memes. No one, everyone kind of has like either books or a Kindles they read. Um, and yeah, everyone, I mean, probably me really. I listen to music, so I mean, I had my phone out, but I wouldn't, yeah, I'm probably me then, I guess, because I listen to music. You know, there, there are many people in our cast who are very busy people. So you can sort of forgive, you know, if Abby or Danny or anyone is like on, on their phone a lot because they've got a lot of business to do. But um, on their phone a lot, might be precious again. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I suppose we're all quite uh, guilty of doing that because um, we have such long days and we spend all of our time together. Sometimes you have to just go into your phone and talk to other people who aren't there. Um, also precious, because she does pranks. She's the only one who does pranks, actually. I don't know, sometimes sometimes one of our directors pranked me once. Um, we were in the middle of a scene and I had to, um, <laughs> I had to look at an iPad because I was uh, logging something in the greenhouse. This is in season two, so it's spoilers. But it was in the, in the greenhouse and I had to look at this iPad and the director, without me knowing, had written on the iPad, don't forget your lines, Jacob. So I picked up the iPad in the scene, read it, and went, oh, and had to continue trying not to laugh for the rest of the scene. We're quite a prank-free world, to be honest, when it comes to uh, our, our cast on set. We, um... Well, we're quite we're quite quiet. I mean, to be honest, there are scenes when we have like late night shoots uh, where, um, you know, we're all slightly getting very tired, and we need to make sure that we keep our energy up for scenes. Um, we'll just tell lo lots of jokes. There'll be lots of jokes on set. Um, everyone's very funny. Elliot's got lots of jokes, and and Precious and Hannah are very very uh, are very funny as well. And uh, Alicia's also. Everyone's you know, just very humorous. So I think um, when we're on set, uh, I think often if it's a late night shoot or it's a night shoot, I think everyone keeps each other entertained by just uh, making everyone laugh. Really, that could be me. Uh, no, I do a lot of little silly things, like uh, um, childish things. Sometimes I forgot I'm a grown up. Let's switch sing to dance and say it's Sean. I'd like to think it was me. I like to sing a lot. Um, Alicia would be the most likely to dance on set, but in terms of singing, 
Abby likes to sing. I think everyone likes to sing. Everyone sort of joins in with each other's singing. Um, probably Abby. And she'll probably have a guitar as well. It's like Abby. Abby sings a bit on search and she hums tunes. She can actually sing very well, so it makes a lot of sense. Um, but uh, she's the only person I've heard hum and sing um, on set. Everyone, everyone naps because the days are so long and they you know, especially like the guys have to do all the fighting, the girls have to do all the, the running and the magic. So um, yeah, every, you can find everyone napping at different times. Um, it would be cruel to single someone out because because everyone does that. Abby, 100%. She's, she works so hard in so many, she's number one on the, on the call sheet and she's in every single day and she's, yeah, up at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. and she's home by 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. So it's a big long day for her and often later. So she takes naps where she can. Uh, that's me. Definitely me. That's for you. Still, I didn't really um, experience, but if there was any kind of um, shop or store for uh, souvenirs or typical Irish stuff, Rob was carrying more shopping bags than I could have weighed in the gym. Um, also me, I think. <laughs> I think all of us have been quite good, to be honest. Uh, I take socks. I've taken loads of pairs of socks from set. Um, accidentally, I just walk home with my feet and just, I just, yeah, my, my feet are wearing the socks that I've had to wear for, because everyone has to wear black socks in the show. So, well, I mean, if, you, if you're a specialist, you have to wear the black socks, the black um, outfit. And I've walked home several times with the black socks on being like, oh, I've got to change. Um, just because I've been tired. Oh, I don't know. Um, I think as an actor, you're always like looking for little things you can maybe take from the set because they're, they're very cool personal things. Did I take anything from the set? Uh, no, I don't think I did. Um, what do I think? Steal something from set. It's a tricky question. Don't know. Um, I, maybe me. Maybe me. I think I might be the, the biggest culprit because every every show I've done, I've taken something. So it's only a matter of time before I take something from Winx. Oh, and I think Danny took a sword. I think Danny may have stolen the sword. But I think they gifted it to him, so that's okay. We're all pretty punctual, to be honest. We all kind of, um, we're all pretty there on time. Um, I think maybe one or two times I've been late because I've been making coffee and um, I have uh, been about two, three minutes late, possibly. Other than that, no, I haven't, I haven't been late. Danny. <laughs> oh, Scott, I'm going to have a field day with him later on. Honestly, I'm going to have an absolute go. Danny's, uh, I think I think it's well documented. I think there are multiple interviews online that will tell you that everyone uh, is in agreement on that one. So it's not just me coming after you, Danny. It is, um, I think the girls can agree as well. But it's because he, he sleeps so well. He's such a good sleeper. Um, but I have never seen something as impressive as a man consistently turn up late for work <laughs> when the car is waiting outside the hotel. Um, but like I said, when he gets to set it, he makes it all worth it. So. Okay, he's having it on. Right, I'm gonna find him after this. Abby, because she's usually getting coffees for everyone. Well, that's definitely Freddie, and, and that must be shocking, although I'm German, probably me too. <laughs> that's Danny. That's 100% Danny. Yeah. Uh, I had several scenes with Ken where we were, Ken and I are very good friends and we had really got very close after season one, but obviously he lives in Germany, um, in Berlin. So uh, I couldn't couldn't really go see him much because of the pandemic. But then when we came back to shoot, we were instantly like going for dinner every day. And we have very similar interests when it comes to film. And so when we finally, we, we spent like two months together before we got to act with each other. So when we finally got on set, we decided to take ourselves for a little walk because we were filming the scene at the Bastion where uh, I have my sword that I present him and I give it to him and say, you should have this back. 
and he says it's balanced piece of, unbalanced piece of shit and he throws it into the ground but actually that scene and um we decided to take ourselves away while they were setting up the the shot and um we decided to run the scene and we just started laughing immediately <laughs> because it was the fact that we actually got to act with each other and we couldn't take each other seriously it was very funny but only then it, well, we got it all out and then we were on we were on set it was a different story but yeah it was very funny just wanted to say thank you for the support thank you for watching the shows that we make and i hope you enjoy what's to come <laughs>